Well, Boston has agreed to not only make changes, but also to abide by deadlines, some as early as August, to show that the schools are on the right track. By the time Boston Public School students return from summer vacation, Mayor Michelle Wu promises their schools will be better. Boston is ready to roll up our sleeves and get to work. The deal came just before the State Board of Elementary and Secondary Education met to consider designating Boston Public Schools as underperforming and giving the State Education Commissioner the power to directly oversee the school's administration. But just hours before, Mayor Wu and Education Commissioner Jeff Riley announced the deal that keeps the schools under local control. It's the mayor we need to thank. Uh, she took personal responsibility for the functioning of the school system. Under the seven page deal, Boston promises to improve areas such as school security, English language learning, special education services, and bus transportation. What's wrong with the bus system for Sometimes New York? it doesn't show up, then it's super late and then they don't give you no notice. An independent auditor will track the district's progress and the state will kick in an extra million dollars in funding. And these are our schools. Outside the board meeting, teachers and their union leaders demonstrated, like the mayor, the union opposed any state takeover. I'm disappointed because these threats should never have been on the table in the first place. And nor should the situation have come to this. Meanwhile, the Boston School Committee is reviewing two finalists for the job of superintendent and plans to vote on who the next superintendent will be at its meeting tomorrow. Live in Jamaica Plain, David Beating, WCVB News Center 5.